Have you ever noticed that when you've had an especially long week, you often find yourself questioning why you're doing what you're doing? This was an especially long week. My name's Ed Trevers. I'm an Anglican priest in the Diocese of Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island. I get to serve in the beautiful town of Shelburne, Nova Scotia, in the amazing parish of Christ Church, Shelburne. And today, I want to talk to you about why we do this. And by this, what I mean is, why do we share the gospel? A couple of weeks ago, um, I did a video and I talked about the fact that as a church, for us to be church, we, we have to be we have to be doing this for the right reasons. And that if our reason isn't to share the gospel, then it's the wrong reason. If our, if, if our reason isn't to share the person of Jesus Christ with people, then it's the wrong reason. Our job, our, our reason, the why we do this, the why we... The why we are church is to share the gospel, period, plain and simple, done. I know for some that might be an oversimplification of, of our mission. But for me, that's how I see it. And so this week I was really asking myself, okay, but why? Why do you, why do you need to share the gospel? My first thought was, well, because God needs us to share the gospel. But that's, that's not true. God doesn't need me to share the gospel. The Bible tells us clearly, if I'm silent, he'll make the rocks get up and speak. So he doesn't need me to share the gospel. He doesn't need you to share the gospel. He's told us to. So, reason number two, to be obedient to God. It's a pretty good reason. It's a pretty good reason. But why is it? That we need to be obedient. What is that going to? What is that going to achieve? Well, maybe I feel the need to preach the gospel. Maybe I feel the need to ev to evangelize. Maybe I feel the need to share Jesus Christ because it will make sh it will help me feel like I'm on the right track myself. That the more people I can have around me. Who believe this, the more I can be affirmed and validated in my own faith. But the truth is, with that one, it's so it would be so much easier if I want to feel validated and affirmed in what I believe. It would be so much easier if I simply followed what other people believed. It's very difficult to convince people to follow you. It's a whole lot easier to follow them. Everybody loves it when you follow them. Oh, the reason we share the gospel, apart from our desire to be obedient, is freedom. That's why we share the gospel. We share the gospel of Jesus Christ in order to share freedom with the people around. I know what my life was like before my moment of rebirth. I know what it was like before I committed myself to Christ. It was a good life. Lots, lots and lots and lots of, of happiness. But man, I was chasing that happiness every single day. I was chasing after it. I was looking for the next thing that would make me happy. I was looking for the next thing that would get my heart racing. I was looking for the next best thing. That's not a good life. That's not only keeping up with the Joneses, that's keeping up with myself. Following Christ offered me freedom. In Christ, I am free. I'm free from sin. I'm free from death. I'm free from guilt and shame. 
I'm free to be the person that God has made me to be. To use all the gifts and the skills and the passions that God provided me and be that person. I don't have to be the person that everybody else wants me to be. I'm free from being a prisoner in a world of consumers. I'm free from being an addict to short-term solutions that end up causing long-term problems. That's why we share the gospel. We share the gospel to free people from the lies of the world. We share the gospel to free our neighbors from the trappings of the world. We share the gospel so that our communities aren't hindered by worldly problems. This is why we share the gospel. This is why I share the gospel. And I pray every day that God will allow the gospel to shine through me more and more and more and more. I pray the gospel shines through you as well. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. May the Lord forever be gracious to you. May you know the peace of God's freedom in your life. Amen. Thank you everybody for spending this time with me. Thank you for choosing to be here today. I pray God's blessings will be upon you. If you liked what you saw, please hit the, the like button down below. If you'd like more of our content, hit subscribe. If there's something that you want us to talk about, if there's uh, something you want to make mention, please feel free to leave a comment. I will be praying for you. Please say a prayer for me. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.